Customer adoption of solar PV and batteries is changing the way energy systems around the world are operating. The aim of this trial is to capture a large amount of data about how these small things and big things operate together and it's really important for Horizon Power's energy transition pathway that we capture that and then create products for our customers off the back of it but also create system answers so that we can get more and more rooftop PV into the system much more quickly than we can do now. So we have 38 regional and remote microgrids spread through regional WA. They're isolated, they're non-interconnected and our aim is to get a substantial amount of renewable energy into those networks. In Horizon Power we can see that we're moving away from predominantly centralised generation to predominantly decentralised delivery of energy into our networks. Customers will begin to play an important part in delivering energy into their communities. So data from these DR trials have actually helped us analyse the impacts of the solar on our network as well as the power station. With the increased PV on our network, uh, especially in Carnarvon, we're witnessing changes to voltage profiles. The Gibson Street Feeder is probably one of the most exciting parts of the trial and on this particular network what we've done is we've concentrated a lot of the investment in solar and PV to the point where we disconnect that particular part of the network from the rest of the network so for extended periods of time it will actually operate on its own on purely renewable energy and um, that's really exciting both because we're running on renewable energy but also because we're able to test all the technical considerations that need to be proved out in order to run other systems like that. The embedded microgrid uses solar power from 24 customers to supply a total of 37 homes. Using a microgrid controller and network battery to balance the embedded microgrid, the trials have tested the impact of high penetration renewables on system stability and power quality with real customers and changing weather. The trials have used virtual power plant technology from Reposit Power to orchestrate customer PV systems and optimise their use of batteries to create value for both the customers and Horizon Power. A team of researchers from Murdoch University has been using data science to analyse the Carnarvon dataset. Their task was to explore the value of solar forecasting and DER export flexibility to maximise the opportunity for distributed renewable energy generation. So the Murdoch University research team analysed the unique data set which was collected during the DER trials. And this data set allowed us to assess the impact of cloud fluctuations on the network, what it means for the power station. And also to assess um, what the current regime, how to deal with these cloud fluctuations and make recommendations on how to increase hosting capacity. Here in the lab we could create certain conditions to test how the inverters react. One of the things that we don't want is that inverters en masse trip off. So we want them to be robust against grid disturbances. We can simulate those in the lab and see their reaction. Horizon Power is using the insights from the Carnarvon DER trials to support its bold program of energy transition. By 2025, we want to remove hosting capacity limitations and be able to encourage all of our customers to invest in renewable energy generation and energy storage and reward them appropriately for doing so. Together, we can deliver energy solutions for regional growth and vibrant communities.